Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another back page gaming video. You're joining me, Robbie. We've got Jack. Hello! And it's just us two today. Uh, big duo session. How are you feeling, Jack? Uh, I'm pretty good, mate. We've uh, we've been smashing the foot birthday reviews. And we have, yeah. We've got another one. It's former Silver Star. Robbie, let us know who it is. It's the uh, Junior Sambia. We, we loved him as a Silver Star, didn't Absolutely. we? You even used him as in your gold team for a bit. Yeah, so. I was mad for him, honestly. Probably one of the best early French right back, even best right back early on in the game, that Silver yeah. Star. Um, however, Robbie, things have changed. They have, yeah. We now live in a world where there's approximately 2,000 right back cards on FIFA. Yeah. I want you to convince me, Robbie, why should I sacrifice Kleiber, uh, Bender, James, Reese James, you know, all these kind of like meta right backs. Why, why do I want Samia? Let me know. Convince me. What's your favourite thing on a card, Jack? Pace. Is it five star skills? Pace and five star. Is it pace? There you go, baby. <laughs> you love a skillful, a skillful man. I do. Why not play it out from the back? Mm. Absolute cool as a cucumber, Junior Sambia. Get some scoop turns running from right back. Why not? Have a bit of fun. It is, it is genuinely. Okay. Did I find myself sometimes exposed because I went on mad skill runs? Yes. Did I have fun doing it? Also, yes. Um, it's sort of risk reward. Yeah. You know when like bloody like the FIFA 12 days of Marcio Azevedo. Oh. Just going oh. on mad skill runs with your fullbacks. Like, exactly. It brings back nostalgia, which is what foot birthday is all yeah. about. It brings the fun back into the game. For that reason, I think, and for the price he is as well, like that's less than 100k, okay, I think it's a steal. Yeah. yeah. Particularly for a league on right back, which I think is a position that is severely lacking. Other than that, this Siglia, which I didn't get. I don't think you got either. <laughs> I'd say a lot. If you're not, a, <laughs> if you're not a keen, like we're quite sweaty on FIFA, I'd say. But I know, yeah, but you have to go out your way to do the objectives, yeah. I think. And I can never be asked to do him. Yeah. So yeah, I can see what you mean. The the value in like the links that he's got, like he's he's also French. Um. He is, yeah. I think he's French. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and there's not many right backs. I can't even think of who else there is, really. In the... In the got... Oh, French. Just French, yeah, bro. Mukiele. Just French right back. I'm going to run a quick little numbers check. There's uh, there's that Malquite that nobody did. Uh, there's that informed course. There's really not many yeah. good ones. So I'd say... No, there's not. I suppose yeah, links-wise, if you, if you want a French team, go for Sambia, but... Yeah, 100%. So... Everything on the card, like you say, does look fantastic. He's fast. He's got great dribbling. He's got five star, yeah. which is, you know, like you say, it's just fun, isn't it? Uh, it is, yeah. I know um, we were going to review Hermoso, but I ended up not getting many clips, and I didn't play champs this weekend. And I, yeah. at one point, uh, Sombrero flicked it around Team of the Year Lewandowski <laughs> with him, yeah. and that gave me a special level of joy, so I can only imagine exactly, that Sambia yeah. gives you something similar. So... Like I said, everything looks fantastic. And then, I can't help but look at his defensive stats. You know, he is a right back after all. I can't help yeah. but be, you know, a bit of a boring bastard. A bit sensible. So, yeah. you look at his interception, 79, 77 ahead in accuracy, 82 awareness. Even 85 yeah. stand tackle. It's not bad, don't get me wrong. But at this point in the game, I feel like we're used to seeing crazy, crazy stats. Yeah, definitely. Um, does he feel... You know, does he feel like true to those stats, or do you think he feels a bit better than him? Um, he's definitely a very good right back. Yeah. I think the good thing about him is his size plays a huge factor. Um, he's taller than most right backs in the game, six foot one. Like usually, you don't get full backs. I think Clyde was Clyde was six foot. Six two, I think. I think he's an absolute. Is he really? I don't know. <laughs> Fucking hell! I, didn't know I just. That. Uh, oh, he's six foot. Yeah. So. Yeah, I thought he was. Um, yeah, he's, just his pure size. It makes him able to win like headers. Do you know, like when they're doing like through balls and stuff over the defense, he's able to, to like get up to them. Yeah. Um, which makes him very usable. I think if you did want to use him as a centre back, he'd definitely be like do a job there. Mm -hmm. Um, I think some areas he does lack in. Uh, maybe like his aggression's quite low sometimes. So say if he wins five, the tackle, yeah. maybe doesn't win the second challenge. As you know, on this game, you have to tackle someone seven <laughs> times. He lacks a bit in that department sometimes. Get losing the ball like after he's tackled someone, which is a bit weird. But you know that's that's the bloody state of the game. Absolutely. Um, reactions again a bit low. I don't really know how you tell that in game, but sometimes um, it happened. It happened a few times. You know where 
So if someone does a through the ball, he's not quite quick enough to, to switch onto it, yeah. and they sort of run past him. Yeah, I'm not. Then when you, I'm not yeah. quite sure either what reactions links to. I just know you know when it's it's the big centre backs really that usually have really high reactions. You know, like your Rios yeah. and your Van Dijk's and them. I think it, yeah. they just feel a bit more when the ball's bouncing like, around. Yeah. They just feel like they, they get to it better or they better get a better. I don't know if that has anything to do with AI blocks or anything, but they're cheese anyway, so Retro. I don't feel like that. Yeah. So another question I had about his stats while we're on his, uh, you know, while we're dissecting the numbers. Yeah. We're a bit mad for pace splits on this channel. We are. Yeah, I was going to touch on that. Uh, and he's got eighty. He's got probably the worst of pace split. He's got eighty-seven acceleration, yeah. which isn't bad. Don't get me wrong. But then he's got ninety-six sprint speed. Yeah. In a fullback, you probably want it the other way around. Uh, in well, I would always want the other way around on any player. I think. Yeah. So. Does he feel sl not slow? I mean, he's still eighty-seven pace. It's not slow at all. Yeah. But does he sometimes feel a bit slow off the mark? You know, say when those through balls are in behind you, do you feel yeah. like you can be caught out slightly? Do you think? I did find myself getting caught out quite a bit. Um, maybe it's because of the depth. You know, we're bloody seven depth warriors, aren't Absolutely. we, on this channel? Yeah. Uh, maybe that played a factor into it. He's got medium, medium work rates. So maybe I, I actually quite like medium, medium work rates on a fullback. To be yeah, honest. I, I, I think agree. it's better than high medium. Yeah. Um, Sam would be fuming that he's not high high but I think I think medium medium is fine but yeah his pace split he does take a little while to get going sometimes uh, like fast wingers can beat you to the punch a little bit there was one where like someone threw ball at it and he just sort of went for a side tackle and missed and then the, like, the attackers cleaned through which you don't want do you really yeah. if that was 96 acceleration 87 sprint speed it'd be a whole different story it's just it is annoying you know the pace split on players because you see someone with Mad pace like that new Tiago who we've reviewed. If you haven't seen that, click the card and talk about corner. Eighty-two pace, I think he's got. Yeah. Which you know, you're like, yeah, that's good. That'll that's do. Decent, yeah. It's the same as that new Vidal and Seidorf who I want to use in my midfield. But he's got ninety-five acceleration, seventy-one sprint speed. It can kill a card. It so kills easily. him. It really does. Yeah. Well, um, I'm glad to hear that it doesn't completely kill Samba because, like we say, you know, it yeah. was in the eighty-seven. You know, it's not bad. It's still, like, I'd it's say, I think that's the the redeeming fact that it's not like it's the fact yeah. that. Sprint speed's 96, it's crazy, but he's got 87 and acceleration, so it's not too... It's not like 24 yeah. difference like Thiago's is. Yeah. Um, so, you know, you've touched on it already, but there's something uh, somewhat of a meta going on at the minute. I don't know if anyone's noticed yeah. that people playing right-backs at centre-back quite a lot. Yeah. Um, did you try him at centre-back at all, or did you just use him? At right I back? didn't try him at centre-back. Um... I use Wendell and Desai at centre back, and they're doing bits for me. So I thought, one, there's no point yeah, disturbing true. the peace. Do you think though um, that the defensive stats might kind of like be a bit more obvious if he's playing centre back? I think it could back? hinder it sometimes. Like his interceptions and reactions could maybe sort of tie into it not being their greatest. But I think if you've not got like a fully meta team, maybe you've got like a nice cheap French team or something, yeah. he'd do a job at centre back. Hundred percent. Like that, yeah. just his pure size, like six foot one. He's decent. He's got good strength. He's got the fast start skills, so he can play out from the back easily as well, and good passing. Like he's, he's going to do a job in a cheap team. If you've got a really meta defence already, I don't think he quite cuts it at centre back. But if you've not got the best team, he, he's going to be great for seventy k. Yeah. What um, chem style did you use on him? Uh, I think I used a shadow. So I was just thinking. Use a shadow. Because like you say, playing out the back this year is quite an important like, ability to have. So if you use the back yeah. on him, gets him gets his passing up a bit, gets his defensive and his physical up. It looks, yeah. quite, it looks like an 88, you know, it's 88 centre back. So it's one of those. I think that he's a very flexible card. I can imagine him being quite yeah. good. Obviously, I ain't used him personally, but you know, he's like a right wing back. So he's got yeah. a bit more co defensive cover from you know an extra centre back, and he can be, get up the pitch a bit more. He can get some more use out of his skills because five yeah. back is still popular. Uh, there is still people, a lot of people that run it. Yeah. Um, what I did actually yeah, use him at centre mid a little bit. Oh, okay. Um, so in some chance games, I subbed on Reese James, who I've been lucky enough to get on tradable, uh, and then moved Sambia into centre mid. And he did a good, he did a really good job there. Yeah. Like as a box to box centre mid, you get to utilise your skills a bit more without feeling exposed at the back. Um, and just in general, he's just got the like the physical presence that that you need. I think at centre yeah. mid, really. He's got nice two shot you, power too. Is he, he does. Did he yeah. Crack any shots in like a cracker. I, I didn't manage to score any, yeah. but he actually he got quite a few. Like he forced a few good saves. Like once you. I think the scoop turn with him it feels really nice you yeah. know, because he's so tall yeah, like, his big strides it just it feels nice I don't know 
If you want to use him as an attacking centre mid, like, I think you'd, you'd manage to get a few goals with him, definitely. So, why don't, Robbie? I think we've heard enough about him. Why don't you get us into the end card and sum up yeah. the thoughts? So, rating. I've gone for a 7.5. I think that's fair. Pure reason is that we've got Reese James view on the channel. If you want to click that top card in the top right corner. I've just pointed to the left hand corner. I don't know what's Wait, going it's on. It's very difficult. Um, it's very complex. It is, yeah. <laughs> Um, but we gave Reese James an 8, which in hindsight I think is a bit harsh. I yeah, think he's better than that. I think he's a 9, actually. I, yeah, I couldn't justify giving him like, uh, more than Reese James or the same as Reese James, because in Frank, he isn't quite as good. No. Um, value, however, gone for a 9. Yeah, it's, 75k. It's like nothing. It's fantastic value, yeah, that is really, really cheap. Um, it's picks if you want to use him as a centre mid, like, you're not going to find a centre mid with those stats at all, no. I don't think, particularly with French and League, and it's a good league popular nation. Yeah, exactly. Um, Kem Sahal, gone for a shadow. If you want to get his aggression up a bit, maybe you could use an anchor. Um, but I think shadow or anchor, I think that's, yeah. that's what I'd go for personally. Uh, Links have gone for the freeze. Awa, we all know Friends and love channel. him. Used him again this weekend um, after being out of the team for a while. But I needed someone to slot in, well, uh, to save some money. And he, he does a job, doesn't he? Absolutely. Um, gone for that Lee's Mellow. Good at gang now since his upgrade. Looks quality, doesn't yeah. it? Uh, and also Mbappe, obviously. Wow. Never heard of him. Yeah, big strong link. <laughs> and yeah, the position obviously right back without a doubt. If you want to use him centre back or centre or like centre mid CDM, he'd definitely do a job there as well. But definitely right back. If you've got like a if you've got space for a nice French right back, he's better than Mucky Yeah, I know. Give him a go. I'm not surprised to be fair. So yeah, I think that about covers everything, mate. Yeah, it's been nice talking once again. If you guys have enjoyed the review. Please drop a like. Let us know who you want us to review next. Hopefully Sam's going to do that Vidal. We're trying to convince him at the minute. Yeah. Um, but we'll see you. Try to tempt him into it. Exactly. We'll see you in the next video, guys. See you later.